Alrighty, so time for another monthly review. Um, let's see. So this month, not as much as last month, um, but I have been a lot better, been more meticulous. Oh, wait, let's new up right here. So July, I've taken nearly, not nearly half, but eh, not that far off. Probably forty percent of the amount of trades it took in June. Yes, there were more opportunities here. Um, but I was, as you can see, a bit more reckless. I had a lot more losses. My win rate was a little lower. But nonetheless, uh, two months in a row, I've been pretty consistent and making some decent money. Um, so this month, we got nearly 73% win rate. We got some stats here. Not much. I don't really care about this stuff, really. Like, okay, cool. I see how much my average win in was win is and stuff. Um, main things probably to focus on are the average win and loss um, a little bit more than I typically like this month. But I did size in accordingly, so the losses weren't to totally brutal. In total, I think my losses added up to nearly six thousand bucks. So that was. A more meticulous. It really could have paid off. Mainly was timing. And we did also have a day off here, and I got more days I did not trade in the month. So, considering the opportunities we had compared to last month, um, as well as how these last two weeks kind of dried up a bit, it was still pretty good here. Um, but got thrown off with this red day and this day off. So this week, as you can see, was a little lower. Got a little bit more momentum here. And then it just died off. I didn't really see much. That was really, really willing to risk a good amount. Um, less opportunities and whatnot. But we got a little bit more action midweek here. On well, that last week of July, this past week. Uh, so yeah, just really kind of shifting momentum in the market temporarily. So that I had to pause it for a second. Um, but where was it? I was just kind of look, going over how momentum has kind of shifted, kind of reflected in how many trades I had this month. Um, I was a little better with some of my trading. I think last month let's see the problems. Size, FOMO, over trading, greed, yeah, yeah, size. Yeah. So this month. A lot more of my issues got to do with size compared to greed. Um, this week here I was too picky. Looks like there were some opportunities that I just didn't really want to risk it. Uh, wasn't perfect plays. Uh, so only 11 losses on the month, one red day. So definitely seeing a, sh a shift in my trading in, in the past few months. Definitely. Um, getting zeroed in here on my system uh, obviously there's some more to improve but we're on the right track uh, just real quick just want to go over some of the plays that have been running just get it recorded here um, what's really been hot continuing from uh, June was healthcare plays uh, consumer services was that no communication services Consumer staples um, and the information technology sector; those have really been where I've been fo having all my focus on. That's what's running. Here we got healthcare. We got neuro last week. We went parabolic, and at this point, I just wait for the reversal. Not going to get a strong one yet. I got it on this day on the twenty eighth. Yeah, this quick little reversal here, low volume. Didn't have enough in it to keep it going. Um, and we got here. Oh, I should do this too. Maybe don't need to go through all that. This has been all for the month. <clears throat> and if you see here, most of my plays here, they have been high day breaks or multi day breakouts. Um, most of them kind of combining patterns. I've been doing a lot of that. At one point, I was really getting in on my open price play uh, pattern. It's something I've been tracking. I haven't. Totally got all the data yet, but I am trying to see a pattern, so I did want to test it out a couple times. Um, let's check one out. 
open price. Was that a pass? Yes. AHR. Okay, so it was this day. So we got a huge gap up, and then we just get a failure to break down. Okay, I remember this. The open price was around 493, and I was getting sized in here, and we had the high day right above at 508. And we just really got a solid move after it failed to break down, and shorts got squeezed. We had a high volume day. We got some shorts probably trapped from the day before. Size up here, and it really fails to break down and just takes off. Um, we had a nice move out of that. Got to the eight and a half, so away from the twos here, just a few weeks ago. Um, another another play I've really been looking at, probably multi day bounces. I see that a lot because towards the end here of the month, there weren't as many plays and. Once you get these parabolic plays, it's kind of a snowball effect, and I'm just looking for the reversal at that point. Um, it, it, yeah, it's like a yeah, like a dom like dominoes. It's just we tap one and just gonna keep going. That's what happened. Once you get all the shorts and everything trapped, it it's a pattern that's gonna continue because it's got all these players trapped in there. They have all their opinions and expectations of what's going to happen and if you look at the pattern over and over it will happen every time you'll have this huge spike s gawk is another one <clears throat> shorts get trapped fails to break down and it takes off this first day is really what causes the second day because it failed to break down and it came right back and everyone who's expecting this to just continue lower because you have this awful chart their expectation is broken. Buyers come in. Shorts have to buy to cover, and you just get insane movement to the upside. Um, and after that, it's just like a bouncing ball. You get that bounce. You'll get it every time, like a bouncing ball. Um, the first few bounces are going to be a lot stronger. Over time, it's going to be more like a dead cat bounce. Don't expect a huge angle, <clears throat> profit angle on it. Uh, but sometimes that's all it takes. You just need a stock to just fail to break down and it has a bunch of shorts chopped in and there's a lot of volume. It's a low float. There's plenty of buyers keep keeping it up. You will get these kind of plays. You might not know it in the moment that it's going to take off two, three, four hundred percent. But if you're on the right track, you just need to quit 10, 20 percent and you're living life. Um, so... That's kind of it for the month, really. Just seeing what's already been in play and getting the bounces on failures break down. And then earlier in the month, when things were a lot hotter, we had a lot more high day breaks, multi day break patterns, and even some after hours and overnight plays because a rising tide lifts all boats. So when we had a bunch of plays going off, it brought in a lot of other opportunities, and that's how we had. A strong first half of the month and then energy just died so we'll get back to Monday and we'll see how the energy is this week we hope we get some more momentum but ending this month not that strong we can see it in my profit it's just kind of went down yeah I made more in this one two week period than I did in these two week periods so yeah it is what it is we're just gonna prepare uh, rinse and repeat. We're sticking to pretty much everything's gonna be the same for this next month. Um, but maybe size up. That has been my issue. Besides that, we got a good thing going here. So that's it for July, and we'll make one. I'll make one another one of these next month. So of course, I'll have my daily video lessons. So I hope these are helpful, and let us know if. If you guys have any questions or anything I need to focus on or need to work on, I know this is kind of new to me. I'm just kind of 
going off the cuff. I'm saying um a lot. So if there's anything that you guys want to see specifically in these video lessons, just email us or DM us, um, and we'll try to incorporate that. Thank you.